good morning welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome I'm Brooke and I do lifestyle vlogs so as I'm sure you saw in the title this video is going to be all fall things so um, throughout the week I'm just gonna be doing little clips every time that I do something fall related so it's gonna be a big compilation of all of my fall activities and excursions so this video is going to be very festive very fall so grab your pumpkin spice latte, cozy up in a blanket, and let's get started. It was a graveyard smack. Can I get a grande pumpkin cream cold brew? Just got my pumpkin cream cold brew. Look how delicious this is. I'm so excited. Um, it took a little longer than it should have to get this drink because um, there was actually another brook in there and she got four drinks, but um, I guess she forgot her order because when my drink came out, she just picked it up, placed it in her carrier and walked right out. So uh, my drink had to be remade, but we eventually got it. Here we are. Watching the Adams Family. <laughs> I am totally obsessed with these little things I just got off Amazon. Got a little Halloween donut. I cannot handle how cute this is. And then I got these bandanas. Um, they are not screen printed. It's actually like a patch. I'm putting on some Halloween socks. I have these and I have these. So actually I think I'm gonna wear the gray ones. That might go a little better. I feel like they're really just gonna bring on the Halloween mood. Look how exciting. I've been looking for a sweater like this for like over a month and I just found this. Isn't this just like serving fall vibes? I love how orange these are. I really like this hand sanitizers so here's my little Safeway haul it was $26 I got a few little gourds some pumpkins I got three of the Indian corns and then this 12 stem flower and I bought two of the pumpkin spice hand sanitizers however only one made it into my bag I'm sticking the flowers in here because it feels kind of fallish and for cutting the flowers my hack is I actually use a knife. See, how much faster was that? Look how like country fall this looks. Really bringing in those like orangey browns. So I decided to put the corn here. I moved the little pumpkin down there. So this is what I ended up doing with the little pumpkins and fall gourds. Our fall Nespresso order came in. Bum, bum, bum. So I'm gonna do a quick little unboxing because we got some like fall flavors. It's just like poured out. All right, what do we have? Oh, this is a Hawaiian coffee. Okay, eight of the Hawaiian ones. Okay, that's not very fall. Um, this is an Ethiopian one, aged. Sumrata. This is another Eth Ethiopian one. Oh, here we go. Pumpkin spice cake. That looks so good. Okay. Oh, another pumpkin spice cake. So now we've got three of those. This is a Costa Rican one. Another Costa Rican one. Another pumpkin cake. Another pumpkin cake. Uh, Darren placed the order, by the way, in case you're wondering why I'm so surprised about the quantities. Another pumpkin cake. So we're on six right now. Another Costa Rica one. Deliciously indulgent flavors. Vanilla custard pie and caramel cookie. Those sound amazing. 40 dark chocolate pieces to pair with your coffee. And two, two, I don't know what's, what are these? I think when you order a large quantity, they give you little free stuff. Um, we order so much because we wait until it's on sale and we just place a big order. Oh, how cute, a little Nespresso uh, or espresso glass, ex espresso glass with a little handle, that's cute. So I'm assuming this is the same thing. Yeah, second one. Here we 
caviar. And then the orange ones are pumpkin spice. Kicking off this Friday night with some red wine. I usually drink white, but this is more fall. So red wine it is. I'm making myself a grilled cheese for this lovely fall evening. Yes, I like my grilled cheese very crispy. Got my grilled cheese and some chips. Well, oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, how far? Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my god! I... <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I think we just gotta cut this. I don't even know what to do. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Are you guys ready for a Halloween movie night? Are you guys ready? Another Halloween movie night. Sleepy Hollows this time. I'm trying the Oktoberfest and he got an Irish red ale. This is the biggest pretzel. Okay, here's my hand. Yesterday, our fall pickup from one of our wine clubs came in. And in this shipment, we got fake balsamic vinegar. This one is my favorite of all their balsamics. And then we got a large bottle of one of their olive oils. We got pickled asparagus and cinnamon glazed almonds. These are awesome. For the wine, it's a 2017 Toluca. Um, ours is missing the label. We took a little family road trip to Apple Hill where we went wine tasting and then picked up some apple donuts. On our way home, we were passing Boa Vista and we decided to stop and just pick up a growler of um, our favorite drink from there. I think it's like a pomegranate cider. Alexa, play This Is Halloween. This is Halloween by the citizens of Halloween from Spotify. We just decided that we want to make cinnamon rolls today, so we're gonna head to the store and pick up the supplies. <laughs> Look how cute this beer is. It's like a little Halloween monster. I thought it was too cute and obviously festive, so I had to buy one. Oh, no, 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 no. We're getting started with the baking. We're softening the butter and the milk, and we're watching Haunted Mansion. Cover the bowl with the towel and put it in the oven for 30 minutes. I warmed up the oven to 350 for only four minutes, so it didn't even reach temperature, and then I turned it off. That way it's just a little warm. In we go to proof for 30 minutes. these are. So now we have to just let them sit for 20 minutes and then we bake them up. We are just gonna pour heavy cream and then we're gonna bake them for 20 to 22 minutes. Oh my 
gosh, it's amazing. Mm. Trying out the aged Sumatra um, espresso. Also, I forgot to show you guys, but it, I found these at the bottom of the box. It came with these little saucers for the espresso glasses. Update, this little thing is super good, but it's also really strong. So um, anxiety, here I come. <laughs> So I just wanted to do a little fall haul for clothes. I got this skirt from Nordstrom. It just has this cute little slit here. It's like fall schoolgirl vibes. And the brand is Leith. It was $45. And then I got this white, super, super soft turtleneck off of Amazon and it's actually a bodysuit. And then these boots, I actually bought during summer but I hadn't worn them because summer. But I remembered them this week. The first time I wore them, you guys actually saw um, earlier in this vlog when I was showing you guys my Halloween socks. And then I have this orange sweater I was showing you guys that I ordered, it just came in today. Look like how soft this is. It is so soft, so flattering, and like the exact color I wanted. So this is how I styled this outfit. So the skirt and it's little slit. And then I believe that this is just a little too white. So I think I'd switch it for something cream or maybe a, um, a black turtleneck. So this is the sweater. I absolutely love it. It's a turtleneck, super soft. The arms are kind of fitted. And this, I got it because I wanted to be able to French tuck but it's kind of like a looser base. And again, this is a size small. For reference, I wear a size four pants and I go between a small and medium for shirt. But because I kind of wanted it to be like looser for like the French tuck vibe, I kind of think I might return it and get a medium. I hope you guys have been enjoying this video. As I was editing it, I realized that this is the exact type of content that I wanna watch when I'm trying to get into the fall spirit but I feel like the only fall videos out there are fall decorate with me and fall cooking videos. So this is something super different and I'm really excited about it. So I decided I'm gonna make this a series. So this is gonna be part one of, I don't know how many, um, we're just gonna have to play it by ear, but I'm really excited about it. I might even do it for winter because I also think that would be super, super fun. So if you think that's a good idea, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys think about that. And also if you guys have any ideas or suggestions of things that I should do that are like fall related for the next video or one of the next ones, I would absolutely love your input. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I would love to see how many of you guys enjoyed watching this and want more of this type of content. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe below because now is the perfect time. You don't want to miss any of these fall videos. It's going to be fun. It's going to be awesome. And it's going to be so worth it. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Throw some comments below. And don't forget to tune in for the next video. Bye, guys. Talk to me, baby. I've been waiting for